hello lovely people welcome back to my channel thank you all for returning and hey if you are new you are warmly welcome and i hope you'll be inspired to join this family after watching this video to the end family today we are going to make mackerel soup and mackerel is one of the fishes that i love so much i just love the taste of it it tastes good in my mouth so i love mackerel in almost all my dishes in my soups in my stews and I don't know if you've all noticed that if you're making my fish pie, I use mackerel. So today I'm happy to share with you one of the ways that I make my mackerel soup. Let's begin. First, I'm going to cut my fish into three and then I'll clean them nicely with lemon and salt. You can as well use lime and vinegar or you can even add all of the four. Okay, it's possible that way. Back in the day when I was in Ghana, I used to visit um this chop bar and I love the mackerel soup. And I, I also enjoy the way I will I will grind my, my liver, my ginger, and my scotch bonnet pepper, and I'll add my soup and then I'll enjoy it with my fufu. Family today, I'm going to recreate this chop bar style of mackerel soup and fufu right here in my kitchen. So I hope you'll be inspired. Keep watching and go nowhere. You will love this. We are doing all our best to clean the fish nicely by removing the brains and all the unwanted parts from the fish. Sometimes I don't always take out the fish brains. I leave them in because I just enjoy them. Sometimes, okay? So it's up to you if you leave them in or not. And sometimes too, I cut the fish mouth. But today I'm not cutting the fish mouth. So it's just up to you how you want the fish to be cleaned. and. Yes, I'm going to add my lemon. I love this part because adding the lemon juice and salt or even the lime juice and vinegar will help take away all the fishy funny smell and it will help the soup smell good and not funny. What I mean is that say all the lemon juice no any engineer no and I say vinegar no any and catch the ends, you know. And we hope it's no yeah, pound. And we know it's just nice. So, ha, that's what I mean. Wow, the fish smells good. I'm going ahead to add my seasonings, and I've added all people's seasonings. I've added fish seasonings. I've added a little bit of salt, and now I'm adding my salted beef. I'm adding my tomato paste, and then I'll let it simmer for some time. I'm using the big spoon to arrange the fish and to also coat the fish with the seasonings and the tomato paste. Pause is steaming, I'm going ahead to blend the necessary natural aromatics and I've got aniseed, minced herbs and fennel seed, ginger, garlic, white onions, squash bonnet pepper and red bell peppers i'm going ahead to blend them until it's nice and smooth and i'll add it to the soup base later on okay whilst our basic and necessary natural aromatics are blending let's come back and check on our fish and so far so good i love the aroma i love the beef smell it's amazing so now we are still at the steaming stage and i've added the blended aromatics I'm going to mix it together using the spoon, of course. But make sure you don't let the skin of the fish stick to the bottom of the saucepan, okay? So be careful at this stage, hence using a non-stick saucepan. Because I want everything to be intact, okay? I don't want the fish skin to rip off or something like that. So be careful. Take your time and let all the fish skin be intact okay you do this not for any big reason but it just makes the fish look good when it's on the fufu or it makes it just look so perfect okay we are still at the steaming stage and i cannot talk much i love the aroma here it smells so heavily i'm going ahead to add my other ingredients and they are carrots i love carrots in my soups a lot so carrots, fresh tomatoes, and just a half of the white onion. 
that's it. And then I'll come back up and I'll let it still continue to steam for about 5 to 10 minutes. And now I'm back. Everything is looking so perfect. Wow. I'm back again and it looks so amazing. Now I'm going to take out the vegetables, blend them until they are nice and smooth. Now, what are you talking about? Wow, the aroma here is so heavenly. I love the combination of all these aromatics. Beautiful. Mmm, what an amazing aroma. Wow, I'm now adding the blended vegetables to the soup base. And now, family, I am so impressed. We are still steaming because I want the mackerel to absorb all or most of the flavors from the soup base okay so you can all imagine all these aromatics put together wow they are just so perfect so we are still steaming the soup base is so concentrated can you all see that this means that the fish will taste heavily we are back after five minutes and i'm adding my water to the desired level I've done enough steaming and the fish smells and tastes great. So now it's time to make the soup. Okay. So I've added the, the water to my desired level and the fish is not broken or anything. It's still intact and I love this. So it's time to leave the soup for it to cook to perfection. And this will take about 15 minutes. So I'm adding my okra, my garden eggs. Okay, because I just love to crunch on vegetables whenever I'm eating my fufu. So it's optional, but I would love for you to try this. It's healthy and you'll love it. We'll give this a try, okay? In about 15 to 20 minutes time, the soup should be ready. And we are almost there. Can you see that the level of the soup has reduced? Yeah, so we are almost there. Very soon we should be serving our soup with our fufu. I've added basil. Okay, this basil will also bring its flavor to the soup. Mm-hmm. Amazing. The thickness is not bad. I love it this way. So check on the thickness level. How you like your soup? Is it fine for you or it's too runny or light for you? It's all up to you, okay? Right now, I'm loving the soup's consistency. So very soon, I should be serving myself. So far, family, if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video for others to see what I'm doing here. Don't forget to also recommend this channel to friends and families who may also like my recipes. Now, this is the part that I do miss a lot sometimes when I think about how I used to enjoy my choba fufu back home in Ghana. But today, choba is here in my kitchen. Choba comes to UK. Choba comes to London. Family today, I'm making my own choba style of fufu eh, in my kitchen. And now I've added my ginger. Oh, wow. It's well grinded. But it's not too smooth though. But yeah, I'm loving it this way. Oh, I cannot wait. Family, lunch, dinner or supper is ready. And family, where are your plates? Where are your bowls? Where are your potoyowa? Where are your asanka? This is choba homemade. Eh? Homemade choba. Wow. I am so in love with this. Wow. Beautiful. Mm hmm. She. You be jeffily. Ah. Ma. Mamma mia. <laughs> oh, I love this. Family. Wow. I hope you have been inspired. Thank you all for watching. For more videos like this, please follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to build this amazing family together. Thank you all for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, be good, enjoy. Take care. Bye, y'all.